to the family. Uh. Greetings, I am Robin Sanders, one of the leaders here at the Movement Church, and thank God it's Sunday. You know our motto here, church is not like family, it is family and our mission to leverage who we are in Christ to change the world around us. So here we are, it is April the 26th. And uh, it's been a lot going on. It's been a lot going on. I know we're still staying at home, but even at staying at home, uh, they're thinking about opening the, the world back up. And I don't know if any of you are like me. I'm thinking like, oh no, about this freedom over fear. I'm gonna be at the crib. <laughs> But listen, if you want to stay connected and still at the crib, there are tons of ways that you can do that. You can log on to the moveccc.org and find out all of the updates, everything that's going on. We just got through with an awesome time of prayer and parking lot praise. That was a tongue twister. Prayer and praise. Uh, in the parking lot, so we were just there gathering, keeping social distance and all of that, and with our masks on, but we were able to be together in community. We still serve at Dinner and Dash uh, every Tuesday and Thursday at 6 o'clock, looking to extend that a little bit further. So if you want to plug in and see how you can help us keep that going for our community, uh, just log on again to the moveccc.org. There's always uh, opportunities to serve in that capacity. Again, we know that these are tough times in our community. Facing some financial hardships and families really do uh, use this time to feed their families. And so if we can be of service to our families in that way in our community, we love to do that. So if you would like to help us extend that by making donations or just coming out to serve, please, again, log on to our website and check us out. Now, listen, last week I had this thing where I asked you guys to do uh, the whole world in his hand challenge, right? And we had a couple of people plug in, but I wanted to highlight uh, some of our family again this week because they did such a great job. They showed their like bilingual nature. They did a little Creole and a little English. So without further ado, I want to introduce you to my family if you're new to the site. And for those that have been like family, you know what it is. Nicole and her baby girls. They gonna do a little something, something. The whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. Ligue to Kaya, no me 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 He's got the itty bitty babies. In his hands, he's got the itty bitty babies. In his hands, he's got the itty bitty babies. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. Ligue to Timunio, no me ligue to Timunio, no me ligue to Timunio, no me ligue to Peya, no me He's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world. He's got the whole world. In his hands. I'm not even gonna try Creole. You know, I took a little French when I was in high school, but you know, you know, part time, so but I ain't really got the Creole like that. So okay, you know, it's cool. So, but good luck for Nicole and her babies. Now listen. We got this really cool thing that we do because we're trying to stay connected while apart. We're going to do a church wide game night, 6 o'clock tonight. And if you want to get your bingo card, you got to visit the website. Oh, it's movecc.org. We want to see you log on. Because even though we far apart, we still as one. Let's go. Now, last week we had the awesome opportunity to hear from PJ Smythe, the uh, leader and founder of Advanced Movement, and he talked all about partnership in the faith from Philippians 1. And I was so encouraged by that message. Um, of course, you have to go back and read even more because Philippians and Galatians and Ephesians, they're such good books. But in that book, we found uh, early on before the passages that he covered, they talked about Paul's chains advancing the gospel. 
So Paul saw that even while he was imprisoned, it was an opportunity for the gospel to be preached and the gospel to spread and for brothers and sisters to be encouraged. So he boasted in being in prison. He found it to be even a privilege and great gain for the kingdom because more people were, were inspired and motivated to spread the gospel. So as I think about where we are right now in time, um, and we see this, this pandemic and uh, economic downturn and people having to stay at home and parents under a lot of stress because children are now home and they eat up all the food. It's just like crazy. Um, and people are, are dying and we go like, wow, man, like, I know if you're anything like me, I'm like, God is like, is this real? Like, this it just feels like a dream. But even in the midst of hardship, even in the midst of death and unfortunate times of pandemic, God's gospel, God's kingdom can still be advanced. So as we think about that and as we begin to pray into that space, it moves us right into what uh, Pastor Corey is going to teach about today, and that's being on mission for the kingdom. If you haven't been able to share the gospel for whatever reason, what better time than now? I just want to encourage you, brothers and sisters, in the faith that people are turning to God for answers. People are turning to church for answers. And I'm asking you, brothers and sisters, to prepare yourself. If you haven't been on mission before, what better time than even in a time like this, it can be used to advance God's gospel. Amen? Now, y'all tune into my boy Corey. We got a word. <laughs> 